I'm going to do a little quick little demo with these trees in the back. Uh, there's some green and some orange back there. Um, and it's going to be wet on wet so it stays soft. Um, and the big thing that usually happens is things get are just too wet. And it just goes everywhere. Um, I kind of wet this. I had some orange on the brush already so it's not clear. You see some pop marks down here that means the sizing is bad in this paper but I'm gonna work up here. So the natural tendency is to have too much water. You put it down and it just runs everywhere. So the key is to have much less water. You kind of let the whole thing dry a little bit so it's got a kind of a semi sheen and then you have a, have a dense pool of paint that doesn't have a, too much water in it. Um, another trick is to practice, see how I put it in the middle, there's a line up here and a line down here, and I put it in the middle to see how much it spreads so I don't go out of my shape before I know what's happening. So I'm going to take, you can't see my paint, but I'm going to take a very dense paint and you can see how it doesn't move very much because there's not much water left on the paper and there's not too much water in the brush left relative to the paint. Now paint the green in. You can even use a different brush for the orange, but I wash it out and then get the orange. See how much that spread? There's too much water in the orange. So let me take the brush again and take the orange out. I kind of put it in the middle so it didn't go over my line too much. And there, I have less water. So now I can do the orange and then the green in the background. And I kind of, that's it. That's my uh, background trees. And that's all I want to show.